Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Nagano Prefecture here in Japan which is home to many nice ski slopes and hot springs or onsen as you call them in Japanese but they're also home to a number of good craft breweries today and we're going to have a look at another one of these. We're going to have a look at a beer from Olaho Beer and this one is the Captain Crow Extra Pale Ale, a 5% American Pale Ale rated 95 overall on rate beer, 92 within the style. So this one it should be pretty damn awesome and what makes it particularly good is that it's only 350 yen for a can so it's actually one of the cheapest craft beers that you're going to find in Japan and it's very highly rated too so it's a win-win situation. This was another beer that was recommended to me by Koji at Asahi Liquor Store here in Taishibashi Yamaichi in Osaka. He's got a great selection of stuff so make sure you check out the link to his Facebook page in the description below. Also a shout out to Casey and Eric at Sotogami Akihabira, the American guys based in Tokyo they've got a very nice channel too so make sure you check that out I love the gamer music on their videos and they do a lot of Japanese beer reviews so make sure you check them out but anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my future reviews that I'll do from all the whole beer very first time I'm trying one of their beers of course there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel if you want to see my other Japanese beer reviews go into the channel homepage and use Japan in the search bar and they'll all pop up and as always to those of you watching here in Japan please do get in touch and let me know some of the other Japanese beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review I know there's a lot of great things here and I'd love to try most of them while I'm here but of course that's a very difficult task but I will be back to Japan in the fairly near future but anyway to tell you a little bit about Olaho beer like I mentioned to you Olaho beer are from Nagano prefecture to the northwest of Tokyo very well known for ski slopes and onsen and things like that but the company's origins date back to the Tobumachi Development and Promotion Corporation which was a public-private initiative that started back in July 1st 1994. This company initially ran at the Urarikan, a hot spring facility but in 1996 they officially started their beer operations as Tobumachi G Beer Club with the beers being sold under the O Laho Beer. This is quite common in Japan that breweries have, they have a parent company and then they sell their beers under a different label name but the company changed its official name in 2004 to Shinshu Tomishi Public Corporation after the Tobumachi and Kitaminaki Mura districts merged to form Tomi so this was why they changed their name but the original head brewer at the brewery was Ryoji Kobayashi who is now the corporate director and he studied brewing at Tokyo University of Agriculture and later trained in Seattle and at Sumi Dagawa Brewing a division of Asahi, Asahi Beer these guys were the craft division of Asahi Beer but under him the brewery began producing three beers. This was a golden ale, amber ale and also a porter as well. And the brewery and its attached restaurant proved hugely popular when they opened. And in 1997 they began producing bottles and cans of their beer to go outside of the restaurant as well. But apparently the company struggled around the kind of 1999-2000 time because people perceived the, perceived the brewery as being a sort of souvenir beer rather than a serious kind of craft brewery. And this was mainly to do with the fact that they were a public-private company company but the, di but the director Totsuka Masaki joined the company and ensured that they changed their culture a little bit and they became properly focused on brewing the craft beer and the brewery has been doing very very well ever since but the current brewer Takayashi Yomo Yomokoshi joined the company in 2003 apparently this was when the, the company really began to turn around and he became the head brewer in 2006 when Kobayashi actually retired and became a board member of the company so he joined the company in the year that they had their lowest production volume and since then they've been kind of growing very steadily but there's a big team mentality at this brewery now they talk about that on their website that the team is very very important and quite a lot of people within the company are involved in designing the beers and saying I want this flavor this flavor and this flavor and they say that that's what really has led them to success and they are quite highly regarded here in Japan around the craft beer circle so this is a brewery that you definitely want to check out so they've got a lot of nice beers just to list these for you as I mentioned to you there's the golden ale the amber ale there's also the Kulch and the pale ale and then their seasonal range they've got the spring white the summer vites and the autumn IPA and the winter porter as well and they do have this guy the Captain Crow American pale ale or Captain Crow extra pale ale which comes in at 5% ABV like I say it rated 95 on rate beer overall 92 within the style so it should be 
pretty damn awesome beer and at 350 yen for a craft beer in Japan normally you'll pay about five six hundred yen for a bottle of craft beer so for 350 yen this one is a little bit of a bargain so let's have a look at the artwork and then we'll open this guy up and get on with the tasting here so as you can see the nice kind of pirate artwork on this one I do like the color scheme of this it's actually quite distinguishable there you can see on the back there's another kind of cover of this one it says good times artisanal beers brewed in Nagano I'm not sure which one is meant to be the kind of front of it I think this one is supposed to be the front because it says all the whole beer the one on the back doesn't say all the whole beer so I'll put the can this way but you can see this is the kind of nice Japanese top of the can you can see it's got braille and things on it which I think is very cool so let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting then this one should be really quite nice a oh, little bit foamy as we open it up but we'll get it out and into the glass there's actually a couple of breweries that can their beers here in Japan, but if you've seen my other beer reviews, you will know that the real kind of canning fad, if you like, came from Colorado. Colorado, of course, in America, is known as being a very liberal and sort of environmentally conscious state, which is a very good thing, I think. And these were the guys that really started canning a lot of their beers. But if, if the date there is right, if it's 2007, I do wonder if that kind of predates when uh, Oscar Blues and things started canning their beers. I'm not sure about that, but that's just an interesting side note. But as you can see, this beer is poured, it's actually crystal clear. You can see it's a nice pale golden colour, but you can see the transparency of that beer. There's a half finger or a three quarter finger of a frothy, but kind of bumpy white head on this one. There's a few big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few, quite a lot of little ones actually going up towards the bottom of the head there but overall it looks like a very very nice beer and you can smell some of the citrusy, grassy and slightly floral characters coming off this one as you pour it out and it, it smells nice and juicy and orange to be honest with you too. Very very inviting beer. So let's have a proper look at this. Oh yeah. So with this one you can smell a little bit, for me I'm getting a little bit of kind of passion fruit out of this one. Just a little bit of that, you've got some nice peaches and maybe apricots or things in there, maybe a little bit of mango too, it's a kind of juicy tropical fruit note rather than the sort of more oily grapefruity things going on. There's a bit of passion fruit there though I should say, but yeah, it's a nice tropical fruit nose this one. If you sugar it up a bit more you get some biscuity and slightly caramel malts, you can also pick up a little bit of the bread as well in this one which is really nice but a bit of orangey citrus some grassy and kind of floral character I think as well but it's yeah it smells like a typical kind of APA yeah a bit of orangey citrus some peaches apricots passion fruits things like that a bit of kind of apple and peri ester coming out of this one too but that's quite minimal but biscuit and caramel in there a bit of bread but a good amount of sort of floral and grassy character as well so it smells really nice it smells as you would expect from an IPA or an American Paleo the technical definition between these beers is to do with the hops to malt ratio but they are kind of quite similar they're just a little bit the IPA of course is a little bit stronger but without further ado then let's get stuck into this guy this one is the Captain Crow American or extra Paleo I should say not American Paleo from Olaho beer in Nagano Prefecture Japan Kampai Yeah, that's a pretty damn good beer. There's no doubt about that. On first taste, you can pick up the quality of this one straight away. For 350 yen for a craft beer, spot on. Really, really well done. So as the aroma was kind of alluding to, this is a big hoppy beer, this one. It's got a big kind of floral aromaticity to it. It's actually quite resinous as well. There's a good little bit of resinous character around the edge of the palate, just underpinning the sort of floral side of things. But really, it's a big floral and resinous bitter character around the edge of the tongue. It's it's very nice actually. Yeah, that's nicely done. You, with this one, if you've tasted a lot of paleos against IPAs, you can definitely pick up the sort of grassy and more floral characters in this one are usually to me an indicator of a paleo rather than an IPA. The IPAs always turn it a bit more caramelly and a bit more fruity. This one definitely has just that light malt base 
and some nice grassy character there. Around the front curve of the palette, you're getting that nice, slightly grassy, bitter character there. And around the sides, it's big and floral and quite resinous. It's really nice. The flavours blend together very well, and I can see why this one is quite highly rated. This is one of the most kind of hoppy beers I've come across in Japan so far, actually. But yeah, in the middle of the palette, it's a sort of pale malt malt base in this one. It goes right across the middle of the palette. There's maybe a little bit of a kind of biscuity, syrupy, grainy character in there, but mainly it's a sort of uh, white, it's kind of white bready but pale malt character. It's, it's very well done. You know, it has everything you expect from the style. Behind the front curve of the palette, you can pick up a little bit of fruity character there. To me, in the aroma, in the aroma it was coming across as more of a juicy kind of fruity character but in the the flavor actually comes across as being more of that kind of oily and quite bitter grapefruit you can pick that up just behind the the front of the palette there it's definitely a sort of grapefruity character coming out of this one yeah definitely grapefruit there's a little tiny bit of orangey citrus in there but for me it's really about that more kind of tropical grapefruit flavour coming out of this one. That really lingers there in the tongue as you go into the aftertaste. The floral aromaticity in this one lingers and the grapefruity character sits there as well. It's really, that's what really goes into the aftertaste. That floral resinous character and also some of that grapefruit. The malt base in this beer is pretty mild actually but it's nicely done and it's a good session beer this one. To drink a few of these cold for a nice hoppy bitter beer you'll definitely enjoy these ones. Yeah, in terms of the mouthfeel of this one, I'd say it's light to mid-bodied actually. The carbonation for me is quite smooth. It's probably leaning more towards the mid-bodied one. It's a little bit oily, I would say. There is a little bit of sweetness from it, but mainly this is a big kind of bitter, hoppy beer. There's a nice little bit of fruity character in there. The grapefruit, as I was saying, is coming out, but there's maybe a tiny little bit of juiciness to it. But overall, it's a big piney floral aromatic resinous beer and you know it deserves its rating that it has on rate beer i would say it's it's a really nice kind of sessionable summer beer this one so if it's a nice hot day as you often get in the summer in japan then this is one i'm pretty sure you will want to check out this is a very nicely done beer so yeah um as always i hope you've enjoyed this beer review until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff go and check out my social media do let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below and let me know your favorite beers from Ola Ho beer as well this one i would recommend to those of you who love a big piney floral resinous pale ale it's a very nice light sessionable beer this one so if that's your sort of thing you will enjoy this beer it's very very nicely done so yeah uh, until the next time i will ca and do all, like, all the stuff i was saying check out all the links in the description below make sure you check out casey and eric's channel as well but most importantly make sure you go and check out olaho beer from nagano prefecture in japan they, from what i gather they do some pretty awesome stuff and their other beers are very highly rated as well so until the next time it's Lange just now and i will catch you soon the captain crow extra paleo from olaho beer in Nagano here in Japan. Kampai.